made weight, and they're ready to grab some food. Oh, it's right there, isn't it? It's a bear burger. What would you prefer? I mean, burgers. Or... I just arrived at uh, Bear Burger. Yeah, I both got. Dad and I both got American. <laughs> American burgers is pretty much all there is, except for maybe chicken wings, but I'm probably gonna be, I'm probably gonna order me some wings tomorrow night. It's a pretty interesting setup though, it's like a really tall, tall booth. Man, I just can't wait to eat. All weighed in, all settled in. Now it's just a matter of uh, uh, waiting a little bit longer before uh, before we grab grab some pizza. But um, we just had our our meeting of you know what time to show up tomorrow morning, and the numbers as far as as far as I'm concerned, they're relatively low. But for the 198, it's still 11 to 12. Now, that's quite a bit in and of itself. But for the Arnold, we're used to seeing a you know, higher number than that. But either way, you know, it's uh, it still contains a lot of high caliber uh, competitors. I mean, we got Danny Gillian. We got Zaza, uh, who's a world champ. And um, who else? Jared Rose. Uh, Joel Hudick. I mean, if I can manage to win one match, then I will. I'll be very, very pleased but regardless of my performance i just hope that i at least uh, that i at least hold my own against everybody so but uh i wish my father was pulling too if his wrist wasn't uh wasn't killing him uh he he qualified too um, but doesn't mean that he can't do it again another year so i'm very i'm very pleased and blessed that he could even be with me during this very monumental endeavor. But until tomorrow. It's like about an hour before they start opening, but it is packed out there. I was let in as a as an athlete. They let my dad in too. Can't even fathom the the level of uh, excitement. This is crazy. That's a Claim our seats now. In Texas to qualify for the world championship. Yeah, there you go. Push. Got a little going. match going on here, folks. This is the noise. Push sideways. Shove him sideways! Great match. There you go! Do it. Push. Uh, no. Second. No. You have prize money in all classes today. Yeah. Decided to share our sport with new people. Bust him, Greg! Get Bust him! Wow. Hassan, you well. First and foremost, uh, this has been an unforgettable experience that I was very fortunate to take part. Uh, you know, unlike a normal open arm wrestling tournament that I'm used to going to, the Arnold Classic is an invitational only competition. So I was, I was very privileged to be amongst the other athletes there. I'm especially grateful that my father was able to join alongside and essentially be at my corner. My congrats to all the winners at the Arnold Classic. Another reason that that location in particular holds a special place in my heart, the Greater Columbus Convention Center, uh, that is the location where my wife and I went to our very first anime con together at Mitsuri Con. And that was where I first got inspired to begin my voice acting career. So not only is it paramount to my arm wrestling career, but also to my voice acting career. I want to give a shout out to Leonard Harkless and Denise Waddles for uh, the countless amount of hours of work that they do to better the sport and to run uh, the, the very uh, esteemed events that they do. And also to Fairfax Hackley, AKA Hack, who has worked really hard each year to keep the sport and retain its spot at the Arnold. So regarding my first match, 
you know, firstly, Leonard Harkless is arm wrestling's best officiate, not only to the nation, but the world, as a matter of fact. And I know he does not like to uh, call fouls. And given the fact that we were in front of a couple of hundred thousand people during that event, I know how important it was to maintain the, the class, not only as athletes, but as officiates. So that said, uh, Josh Grant has a deceivingly uh, immense amount of holding power, and I think he just did a great job at holding my press for as long as he did. And also to the other guy that beat me, Hassan, uh, he just simply uh, you know, just annihilated my hand and had a much, much more wrist curl than I did, and that's just this is how it was. But there are three things that I learned from this experience. Number one is I need to watch where my elbow goes. Uh, so I need to incorporate my training with, you know, setting, setting some weight on my shoulder and elbow to kind of keep it from floating and sliding off. Number two, in light of Zaza winning the 198 class, being as explosive and fast of a puller as he is, that tells me that I have the talent and arsenal to be a great competitor. Now, I, I'm an okay polar, and in some cases a good polar, but I know I have the tools to be a great polar. I just need to uh, gather more strength in certain angles. Number three, given that I was not flash pinned and I got the jump on both my opponents, you know, I I know that I may not be in the exact same field as a lot of these guys, but I think I am. I just now entered in the same ballpark as them. So back to the drawing board, back to training. Uh, thank you all so much for following me in my journey. And I can't wait to see where the next competition takes me.